Hi everyone, this is Sumit here and welcome to my channel Excel with Sumit. In this video, I'll explain different number formatting option. Excel has quite a few built-in number formats, but sometimes none of them is exactly what you need. So if you want to use what Excel has by default, you can go to home and you have a drop down here where you have multiple formatting options. For example, general number, currency, accounting, short date, long date and so on. However, sometimes these options doesn't help you to get the desired output. For example, when you want to display the number as thousands, for example, here I have changed the number formatting of the sales to thousands and have added K as a suffix. Here I have done the same by adding a million suffix and change the number formatting to millions. And here we have changed the number formatting to minus as well as plus. These options you don't get directly in Excel. Again here we have the red marked as negative number and positive numbers are marked as green. Here as you see by default Excel will truncate the zero which is preceding before the numbers. So how to get the exact pin code even if it is preceding by zero. Then again here you want to display that if the number is less than 60 it should show error. Here I have added US dollars at the suffix. Here I have explained how to prefix US dollar. Here I have changed the date in the required format. Again here I have hidden the zero number which is not possible directly in Excel. And here I have different color coding of positive number, negative number and zero. Here I have added dot in between the two numbers. So let's dive deep into all these examples one by one. Kindly note we have two columns with the same value. It is just that the first column has the expected output and the second column has the basic output. And here we want to convert these numbers in the desired format. So let's go with the first example. In this example, we want to convert these sales number into thousand and we want to add K as a suffix. So to do that, you can select the entire cell for which you want to change the custom number format. There are two ways to open format cells. Either you can right click here and select here option format cells. Then you will see here the format cells dialog box is open or you have an option of shortcut control one where you have to press control and one simultaneously. So I'll press control one simultaneously and I see that the format cells dialog box is open. I'll move the format cells towards the right. Now we want to show that the 20,000 numbers should be showed as thousand. Now we want to convert these numbers in the thousand places. So now what you have to do is go to custom here, here in the general format, delete this general and then write zero, press comma, which will convert the number into thousand places. And then as we need, suffix as k so in double quotes we will write k and close the double quotes and now we can press ok we see that we have got the desired output immediately let's move into the next example in this example we want to convert sales into million places and we want to suffix this by million so now we'll select the cells for which you want to add the custom number formatting press the shortcut ctrl 1 simultaneously we will have the format cells dialog box open again go to custom here we'll follow the same thing so what we will do here is delete the general write here zero now if you add a comma here as seen in previous example, it will convert into thousand places. And now if you add another comma here, it will convert this into million places. And now if you press OK, you see that this has been converted to million places. But here we want million to be added. So again, we'll press control one and here in double quotes, we will write million. So it will be M I double L I O N. We'll close the double quotes and we'll press OK. We see that we have got the millions written here. But again, you see there is slight change between the column G here and the column H here. And the difference is that there is dot zero added here and here we don't have dot zero. And there is also a space between zero and million. So to do that, we'll again go to control one. Here after zero, we'll take the cursor and we'll press dot zero. And before million, we'll press an extra space. So we'll press space here and we'll press OK. So now you see that we have got million written here and the number is converted into million and we have got the exact same output. Let's move to the next requirement. Here we want that the same number has to be converted, but it should be at a thousand places. So here we'll select all the cells and we'll press control one simultaneously. We'll move the dialog box towards the right. We'll go to custom here. As you see that we have only thousand places. So we'll remove the general. We'll again write zero. We'll press comma and we have a suffix here K. So in double quotes, we'll write K. So we'll press open double quotes. We'll press capital K. We'll close the double quotes and press enter we have got the numbers in the thousand position, but we see that we have here comma separated. So to get that again, we'll go to format options by pressing control one. We will here 
write the format as we need in the output. For example, here we have the thousand format here. We will write here zero comma zero 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 and we'll keep the remaining part as it is. We'll press OK. We see that we have got the numbers in the thousand places and it is also separated by comma. But here we see a very slight change where the K is having a space after the number. So for that, again, we'll go to format cells and before K, just press a space and press OK. And we have got the desired output as expected. Let's move to the next requirement. In this example, we want the numbers to be negative and numbers to be in positive and it should be converted in percentage. But you would be wondering that if you select this number here and if you go to home and in the drop down here, if we select here percentage, then we should get the desired output. But the problem here is the positive numbers will not have plus sign, whereas the negative number will have the negative sign. So we will not get the desired output by using the Excel default format. So to get that, we'll go back to the previous version and now we'll press Ctrl 1. We'll move the dialog box little left. Now we'll go to custom. So here I'll tell you interesting details about custom number format. So we'll delete this general. We need here plus for positive sign. So we will write here plus. Now the number format which we want is in percentage format. So the percentage format is 0.0 percentage. .0 so we'll write here 0.0. .0 percentage so the first part which you type here is always denoting the positive number to denote the negative number you have to press semicolon and now whatever you write here it will be changing only the negative part of the numbers so here it will not change 0.2 number and 0.3 number which are positive but it will only change minus 0.1 and minus 0.2 here and here you want negative should be displayed as negative and it should also have percentage. So we'll write here minus 0, 0.0 and then we'll write percentage. And now we'll press OK. We see that we have got the desired output where you have the negative number as minus and the positive number as plus. Don't worry if you have not understood this example here. We have multiple examples which is explained again and again and that will help you to memorize this understanding within Excel. In this example, you see that you have the same thing which was in the previous example. However, here you want to have the negative number is displayed in red and the positive number is displayed in green. So to do that, again, we'll press Ctrl 1 shortcut. We'll go to custom. We'll delete this general. And now here we will write plus we'll write 0.0, .0 percentage. Let's press OK and see what happens. So here you see that every number is displayed as positive and the negative number have some weird output. So let's complete the details as we did in previous example because we have not displayed the number correctly for negative numbers. So again, we'll go to control one and now we want to display how the negative number should look like. So we'll press semicolon. Now for negative number, we want to display it as minus 0.0, .0 percentage and we'll press OK. We see here that we have got the output as we had in the previous example. But here we want to have the negative number in red and the positive number in green. So to do that, let's go to format cells again. Now we want positive number to be showed as green. So here we'll add a square bracket before the positive number and we'll write here green G R E E N and we'll close the square bracket. We'll press OK. You see that the positive number is colored as green, whereas negative number is not colored because we have not given any direction for the negative number. So again, we'll go to control one. Now here after the semicolon, we'll write here red because after the semicolon, the second part shows the command which we want to give for the negative cells. So here we want to color the negative cells as red. So in square bracket, we will write red red and we'll close the square bracket. And now we'll press OK. We see that the negative numbers are colored in red. They are marked as negative and the positive numbers are having plus sign and they are marked in green. So here we complete the five examples here. Let's move to the next example. By default, if you add a number after zero in Excel, Excel will always remove the zero which are preceding the numbers. So if you want to command Excel to keep the zero as it is, then you should know what is the length of the digit which you want. For example, here we want to have pin codes only in five digits. And here in the output also, we want to have pin codes in five digits. So to get that, we'll select the cells We'll go to custom number format by pressing control one together. We'll go to custom. We'll delete here general. Now we want to have digit in five length. So we'll type here five times zero, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll press OK. So we see here that Excel have prefixed the number zero for the pin code, which did not have the zero in the starting. This completes the pin code example here. Now in this example, we want that the numbers which are negative should be shown as error. So to do that, we'll select the cells. 
either we can press control 1 or we'll right click and we'll go to format cells we'll move the dialog box towards the right now here we'll go to custom we'll delete this general here we see that we want the positive number as it is so for positive number we'll just press 0 and to change the formatting of the negative numbers we have to press semicolon and now whatever you type after semicolon it will only change the formatting of negative number and here for negative number you want it to be displayed as error so we will not write any number and in double quotes we will write error e r r o r we will close the double quotes and we will press ok we see that we have changed the formatting of negative numbers let's move to the next example here we want to change or we want to add the currency of the sales number where you want the suffix to be added after sales which is us dollar so to do that we'll select the cells we'll press ctrl 1 we'll move the dialog box towards the right we'll select custom now here again we'll delete general we'll write zero we'll press double quotes here as we see that we have space after the number so we'll press space bar now we want to write a us dollar so we'll write us and then we'll press dollar and then we'll close the double quotes we'll press ok you see that you have got the desired output always note that the custom formatting which you're adding it does not change the value of the cell for example the cell here is only 30 40 50 and 60 it is just that the display of the cell looks different so whenever you do a calculation with these cells the numbers will always remain the same for example the number here will be 30 the number here was minus 60 so it will be always shown as minus 60 now moving to the next example here the example is just opposite here you wanted to suffix by us dollar here you want to prefix by us dollar so we'll select the cells we'll press ctrl 1 we'll move the dialog box towards the left and then we'll go to custom and here we'll delete the general we'll press double quotes we'll write us dollar we'll press space we'll close the double quotes and then we'll press zero so that we get the numbers what is displayed here we'll press ok we see that we have got the prefix us dollar before all the numbers let's move to the next example here we want to change the formatting of the deadline to some other format whereas this format of date and then the month name is not present in this drop down within the default custom format so how you can do the custom date format within excel i will also explain here the different date formatting which you can do in excel so we'll select the cells here we'll press ctrl 1 now as we see here the date here is selected as year and then here it is the number of the month and then the number of the date now you see that you have many drop down here but suppose we want to have a date format which is not present here so how you can do that you have to go to custom and then you'll delete whatever is written in the type now if you want the day should be at the first then you can write dd because dd stands for date and now here you want month if you want the month number like example january 01 february 02 then you can write mm you can repeat m twice and if you want year to be a four digit then you can press space and then write yyyy which stands for four digit of the year and if you press ok you see that you have got the day number month number and year which is four digit now if you change the format for example here if we add extra m then this will convert the month number to month name and then you see here that the 10 became october 9 became september 6 became june and 12 became december and now if you want to convert year to be displayed only as the last two digit then again you will just write yy twice and you will delete the last two yy and press ok you see here that the year is converted from four digit to two digit now suppose if you want october to be displayed completely and september to be displayed completely again you will press ctrl 1 and then here mmm you can add extra m which will make this month complete we'll press ok now we'll expand this cell and we see that we have got the october month complete september complete june complete so now here we wanted the first three alphabet of the month name so we'll go back to custom number format and we will delete an extra m and we'll press ok also you'll get a requirement later on where you want to add hour and minute so to do that what you can do is just add hh mm so here if you write as hh and colon and then mm and if you press ok then we have got the hour and minute also listed here so in this way you can play around and get the specific date format based on your requirement let's move to the next example in this example we want to change the formatting of zero number so here we want zero to be displayed as blank so to do that select the cells for which you want to do custom number formats press ctrl 1 here go to custom as you have seen here that the first part of the cell describes the positive number 
to go to the negative number you have to press semicolon and whatever you write here for example minus 0 this will describe the negative part of the cell now to display or to change the formatting of zero number you have to again press semicolon and the third part of the cell here always describe how you want to display the zero number just to summarize the first part shows about the positive number the second part shows the negative number and the third part shows the zero number and here we want the zero number to display as blank to display as blank you have to press hash so we'll press shift 3 and then we'll press okay you see that the zero has disappeared If you have not understood this example, we have another example to explain more this in detail. Here we want to display zero as NA. So again, we'll select the cells for which you want to change the custom number formatting. Press Control One. We'll move the dialog box towards the right. Press Custom. Here we want to change the formatting of zero number. So for positive number, you have to write zero. Then for negative number, you'll press semicolon. And the second part tells about the negative number. So here I'll write minus zero. which will change the negative number to minus 0 now the third part will change the formatting for zero number so to go to third part you press semicolon here the zero number is displayed as na so to write na for negative number you'll just press double quotes write na press double quotes and then press okay you see that you have converted the zero number to na let's move to another example in this example you want to have positive number as plus negative numbers as minus you want to disappear the zero number and also you want these numbers to be in percentage so to do that we'll select the entire cells press control 1 we'll move the dialog box towards the up then here go to custom here we'll remove general let's go step by step we want positive number to be displayed as plus and you want them to be displayed as percentage which is 0.0 percentage so we'll write 0.0 percentage so now in this way you'll describe the positive number to describe the negative number we'll press semicolon and the negative number will be described as minus and then it should be 0.0 and then percentage so this will describe the negative number now you want to make zero as blank so the zero part is the third part to go to the third part we'll press semicolon and the zero has to be nothing so you'll press here hash which is shift and 3 and then we'll press okay we see that you have got the desired output let's go to one advanced level of this example in the next example here you want negative number to be in minus and they should be in percentage and they should be in red color you want the positive number in percentage they should have plus and they are in blue color and you want zero to be displayed as na and they should be in green color so let's do this one by one let's select the cells press control 1 here we'll go to custom we'll delete the general here we want positive number to have plus sign so we'll write here plus 0.0 percentage now we want negative number to have minus sign so we'll write semicolon we'll write minus 0.0 percentage now we'll press semicolon which will describe the zero part so here we want zero should be described as na so here we'll write in double quotes na and then we will close the double quotes this will help you to change the numbers to percentage and negative and positive whereas this will not add the colors so to add the colors for example here we want the positive number to be displayed as blue we'll go in the starting we'll add a square bracket we'll write here blue which will convert the number in the blue format similarly for negative number we want this to be displayed in red so after the first semicolon which starts the second format we will write in square bracket r e d red and then we we'll close the square bracket now for na which is green we'll go to the last part which is the third part here the third part says that the zero number should be displayed as na and it should be colored as green so here we'll start the square bracket and we'll write here green g r w -E e n and we'll close the square bracket now we'll press okay you see that you have got the desired output immediately in this last example you just want that the decimal should be displayed in between so to do that just select the cells press control 1 go to custom now you want this should be displayed in between like it is after the first digit so we'll delete this general we'll press 0 we want decimal to be entered after the first digit so here we'll write double quotes we'll add here decimal we'll close the double quotes and then after this you have two digits so again we'll write 00 and then we'll press okay you see that decimal has been entered after the first digit in this way you can practice custom number format and you can change the look of the numbers you want to have in your analysis